going down the road in the uh, Jeep Liberty. So, um, got the motor swapped again. I had someone do that for me. Um, ended up costing me seven hundred and ten dollars and everything. That's uh, the labor plus um, oil and antifreeze. So not not bad at all. I, uh, it's a really good deal. So and he, and he did a pretty good job. Um, uh, found a couple things once I got it back. And there were some vacuum lines and the uh, heater core hoses uh, popped off on me. Uh, they just didn't have the clamps weren't put back up into place. So a couple small things. So, so I kind of went over the motor a little more, make sure everything was was good. But um, um, that was it. Uh, I think I had one connector that was not connected, the vacuum hoses uh, backwards, and um, those radiator hoses for the heater core, just not getting those back up on there. So um, outside of that, I have put 91 miles on it so far since the swap. Um, and to be honest, uh, it's, it runs great. I mean, you guys can see I'm running, running 70 down the road. This road is absolutely Because 
it gets a little warm in here, but um, windows all rolled down, so not too bad. But anyway, um, I'll cut back to you guys here in just a little bit. So, all right, so back here at the house, um, it's going to kind of go over some of the stuff um, on the engine side. So, one of the issues was the unplugged the vacuum uh, booster, and that was because we were missing uh, this vacuum line here was hooked up in the wrong place. We had he had actually gone down here to your valve covers uh, coming off of that, but um, those actually on both sides need to go to here, but um, I don't know. I know on the original motor, that one was actually just dropped off the side of the engine. So I've got to get that stuff figured out. You guys can see there's some coolant still up here on the intake and stuff. That's because those heater core hoses back there, both those clamps were off and it blew one of them off on me. Um, but outside of that, um, everything else seems to be really good on it. It seems to be running good. Again, a couple miles minor issues still to work out on it but um overall can't complain um a whole lot on it so um i mean some of this stuff wasn't necessarily um the greatest to begin with so but anyway i'm not sure like i said there's there's a lot of wiring that's um I don't really know like that loom back there that's just kind of bare laying in there i don't know if that's the way it was or some stuff's come off of it over time but just things like that that uh yeah i thought maybe that needed a nut on it but um so yeah that's kind of over the motor i still got some stuff i got to do cleaning some stuff up um one i need to yank this um the uh hood latch i need to pull this cable out and off um, and replace it. I do have one, so I need to get that replaced. Uh, we can take a closer look here at the beautiful interior. Like I said, nasty, super, super nasty. So um, kind of the plan with this, uh, definitely a jug of oil or something had to have tipped over. I mean, you guys can see the oil residue here. So I really think a jug of oil must have tipped over in the back back there on that side and then ran down underneath the seats and kind of filled um, both areas there because the carpet is pretty pretty terrible. So um, again, this is the fender, it fell off. Um, fell off, uh, I don't know really what I'm gonna do with it yet. I need, it needs all new clips, those little white clips, but it'll go back on, it's a little scratched up, but I may may end up redoing that anyway and putting some uh, some, black uh just the plain black ones on it it'll all depend on how well this thing ends up coming together but um kind of the plan with this interior this carpet and even the seats that i have the seats i have in there are pretty clean but i'm still gonna go ahead and do this on it but i'm gonna steam clean i'm gonna get the harbor freight steam cleaner and we're gonna see how how well it works um i'm basically gonna do this whole back in i mean all the plastics all the floors uh, shot back all this out real good which is what i'm getting ready to do it shot back it all out after i get it all vacuumed out then um like i said my plan is to steam clean this so i will be doing a video on that um we'll definitely do it before and then i'm kind of go over what the process is and we'll see what this thing uh, ends up looking like but again it, it is pretty nasty i mean that being said i mean the vehicle's got 200 whatever I said, 270, 264,000, something like that. So, um, it's a lot of miles. So, but yeah, we'll see if I can get it all cleaned up, but that's kind of the inside. There's a lot of body panels. Like all these are loose. This is, should be like over here. So I got to clean all this up, find out why these clips and why all this crap has been, um, pulled out. Like you guys can see that's supposed to go down in there. There should be a little metal clip. One of those, right? there that should be on that um it's missing uh, every freaking door panel these screws and these are all broke off uh again i did take all these off the other jeep so um, body wise it's not bad you got a couple couple little spots but for the most part the body on this one is fairly decent i mean it, it's not perfect but it's it's fair um wheels I'm still really, really torn because these tires are new, but I've got 
um, a couple of these tires that are so oxidated on the inside of the beads that they're not sealing, uh, this being one of them. But these tires are like new, so not real sure. Um, first thing I gotta do is I gotta find, either order the lock or the socket for the for these locks that are on these wheels so I can get the damn things off to do the brakes. Um, yeah, and just some of that stuff. So I do, I did take the other wheels off the other Jeep, so I do have those. They're just, they're 16s. My initial plan was to swap rims, put these tires on that, but that's not gonna work. So we'll, uh, we'll have to figure that all out. But um, again, door panels, I'm just gonna swap them because they're, they're pretty rough. Uh, here's the brake switch I was telling you guys about. So that has to be pressed down. And then when you press in on the brake, it lets it come out. So um, I'm assuming there's some sort of plastic clip that went on this that bolted into place. Um, but yeah, it's not there anymore. So that's one thing I got to get. These are the little, the little clips um, that I've got to get to hold the fender on. And like I said, and you guys, you can see how nasty this is. So we'll find out how good the uh, steam cleaner um, is really going to be. But, uh, yeah, pretty gross. So, anyway, guys, um, that's kind of where this Jeep's at right now. Uh, if you guys have any questions, again, if the motor-wise, uh, to, to kind of go into detail, I guess, real quick on the engine. The other engine, um, I, I think I mentioned it before, the left-hand head definitely had a bent valve on the exhaust side. So, that, that was the issue with that. Um, I probably could have swapped had the guy swap heads and whatnot but it's kind of to a point for that price um just swap the motors this motor has almost a hundred thousand less miles so that's another reason why i was like you know what hundred thousand less miles and um as of right now everything works on it so uh i because there could have been more i mean if we had swapped the heads on it we'd had to go back through the timing all that good stuff make sure it dead on I personally think it was probably already messed up uh, before I put it together because the Jeep never ran right to start with and I just assumed it was from the major coolant or the blown head gasket but um, after getting it back putting it all back together I kind of wondering hey uh, it probably already had those issues from the initial person that put the thing together to start with so uh, which again isn't that big a deal but um, yeah it's gonna be a lot of cleaning um again you see i don't know what's scattered all over the headliner may come out may not i do have the other headliner so worst case scenario i've got to pull these plastic panels off to probably put them all back in right um the only thing that's going to be a little a little odd is the panels i have are like a lighter gray but the seats are lighter gray so i think there's gonna be enough of it that i mix and match that it'll look all right so we'll see but yeah that's kind of we're at on the uh, 05 Jeep Liberty. Um, like I said, I'll have a video coming soon on cleaning this thing and we'll see how good that Harbor Freight steam cleaner is. Um, yeah, if it can make this look any better at all, it's it's doing great. So we'll, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. And thanks again for watching and love it if you guys uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm really pushing for a thousand. I know we hit 800 the other day, so that's really cool. Um, just want to say thank you to all the guys that have subscribed um yeah it's pretty cool to have that many so we'll see see what happens with the channel but thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys yeah, i'm gonna add to the end of this video real quick so these are the seats out of the other jeep i mean you guys can see they're in way way better shape um this is a little worn but there's no holes um way better shape uh seats than what was in it the others were stained like really nasty again these are a different color um, like i said i pull all the panels visors all the stuff there's the door panels they're all pretty much the same again they're a lot better shape so um i've also got the headliner up here i need to flip it around but yeah i'll have to figure that a lot because uh, most of the wiring i clipped so i'm hoping Kind of the plan is maybe to stick all that stuff on the roof. I don't know. We'll have to, I'll figure all that out. Um, but plan to use the existing wiring already in that Jeep and pull all this wiring off. 
and same I think there's like some drain hoses or something also on this but we'll I'll have to figure all that good stuff out I uh, want to start pulling down the other one because the other one I didn't want to tear this one up so that's why I just uh, trying to get some of these off I ended up just clipping it and I was kind of in a hurry where the other headliner I can take it out in pieces for all I care um, again I may try to clean it just because this headliner was a pain in the butt to get out some of the clips and stuff just really really hard so back here like I said seats are in way better shape um, these are pretty pretty rough um, kind of got the same wear here but this one's already starting to tear and then like I said there's holes uh, and they're just this is the probably the best seat that was in the Jeep I mean they were all terrible so um, starting to get it cleaned out I got it vacuumed for the most part uh, it was oil like literally I vacuumed oil up out of that little cubby there so um yeah i mean it's kind of coming together i cleaned up some of that back piece i don't know if you guys the, the back look like the ceiling so um i've got a lot of that cleaned up this stuff actually comes off really good so i i think all this is going to steam clean out and then maybe i can uh um get this headliner just and glue it back up is kind of the plan if i can start up here at the front maybe get a spot in here somewhere pull it down work my way back glue this and just kind of work it back i think I'll, I'll have to kind of mess with that. i've never done it so but again i'll swap out all these stupid door panels um just because these are they're all broke uh, every stinking one of them the the um handles um here i'll, I'll come around this all these door panels because they put absolutely none of the screws back in them or any of the hardware they do this every one of them all these little clips are snapped off in there um honestly i could probably get a big enough washer and put this back and it would probably make it but they're just men they're rough so um and i'm missing i think i found one clip while i was vacuuming that goes in here but yeah i i don't know i mean even some of the screws i found like, um look here's one of the screws that would have been originally went in there but yeah they just didn't take very good care of the of the damn thing so like i said that whole spot underneath the jack still had oil like pooling in it so um used the shop back i got it out the best i could and then we'll see see how this steam cleaner um does that's probably maybe tomorrow afternoon i'm hoping to start that so probably going to end this video i know I, I i wanted to add this on at the end of it just because i got a little bit done here so and i really wanted to show the interior so i'll probably edit out the other one but um yeah, we'll see how well this thing cleans up and go from there. Um, like I said, this was the front fender. I, I, did, I think I had this on earlier that I was talking about. I'm missing all of these. Or they're not missing. They're all broke off. So I've got all these clips I've got to get for it. And again, I may look at paint repainting that because it did get stepped up. I think it must have fell off probably once before as well. Um, but I've got to get all that stuff to get that all put back in and fastened um I'm, I'm missing a few up here on the front i did get the front this was all loose originally too and i got it bolted the the main piece bolted back in but i'm missing some of the little plastic clips to hold that in um again i may see if i can find a grill as well and i need to find both of these um sorry both these fog lights this one here the clips broke on this side and this one here is completely uh broke out so um, I'm going to see if I can find a couple of those at the junkyard and see if I can get those replaced again probably try to find maybe a grill as well from there um, that one don't look bad it's just missing a piece up there it's really not noticeable and then we'll work on seeing if we can maybe buff this out a little bit and see what it does um, that's kind of the I guess the least of my concern I mean to be honest And then I'll probably, honestly, if everything goes right, we'll replace the window. But yeah, like I said, the body's not terrible. You got the, some of the paint issues on the top, but the rest of the Jeep isn't isn't bad. You get all this crap all off of it, all the stickers. Um, clean it up. I may touch this up with something just to keep it from rusting like it's starting. But uh, other than that, I think there is one spot over here I noticed underneath the door or starting to roll. 
a little rust or something going on. But yeah, I can I can live with that. Yeah, I'm not even sure how that even starts there. But anyway, um, yeah, again, guys, uh, I think I've, I'll probably leave that part in there. But man, I'd love it if you guys hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.